Hey guys, this is Revenge of the Jocks. I'm your host, Marty, and right now I'm sitting down with Ryan Holiday, um, one of my favorite authors, and he's written books. His newest books is Conspiracy, mm -hmm. and he's written um, Ego is the Enemy, The Obstacle is the Way, um, Trust Me, I'm Lying, and right now we're talking about awesome stuff and books in the world, and I think you guys will enjoy this conversation. So, so. the yep. only proper way to write is the best way that conveys the story. To me, the only proper way to write is to have something worth writing about, right? So yes. like a lot of people go and train to be good at writing, um, which to me is only in service of whether you have something to say or not. Yeah. So yeah, like look, um, Keith Richards' memoir would be good if it was, if every word was misspelled and it was written in crayon. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he lived a crazy life. He's yes. Keith Richards. Um, but you know, some random person off the street could write the most beautifully crafted, perfect, you know, literary memoir, and no one would read it. You could turn on Netflix and watch the greatest television ever made. You could turn on, you could open up iTunes and listen to the greatest music or yeah. the greatest podcast ever made. Spot. There's unlimited amounts of amazing stuff. Yes. And so, if you're not like delivering value. Why would anyone pay for what you're doing? Or why would anyone pay with the most scarce resource there is, which is their attention? Time. And their yeah. time. Artists, creators are the biggest thieves in the world. Because yes. what we're stealing from people is something they can never get back, which sure. is time. Sure. And their attention. So if I could get you to sit down two hours, three hours to read my book or watch a movie I make, I just performed the greatest crime of all time. I stole your best resource, which is your time, your biggest luxury. Yeah, and you better have paid me back for that. Cause, and yeah. Actually, <laughs> now, and, and here's the crazy thing is not only did you steal that from me, but I paid you to let you steal that from me. Yeah. Which is totally insane. That's the best crime. Yeah. It's like, like me hosting a carnival and you coming to the carnival paying to get in and I still pick your pocket. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I always look at creativity as a sport. I mean, that's maybe that's from my sporting background, but I always think of creativity as a sport. Like, we're competing. Like, mm -hmm. right now, if I'm working on a book, Pixar's working on a film. Like, you know what I'm saying? Disney's working on stuff. Like, it's a huge competition, and we're all in the same competition. Like, we're the people that watch Door to Explore or who's making Door to Explore is competing with the stuff I'm making. It's impossible to learn that which you think you already know. And so it's like if you already think you're really good, you're not going to get any better because you can't learn. And I think that's that's what happens when when pe people are really successful at one thing and then they go to do a really different thing. Yeah. They just assume that, like you said, that it's like a lateral move when actually it's way back there. The ultimate thing in life is like discovering who you are. And I don't think that I think you're constantly changing and constantly growing. So you got to constantly take things in and learn more about yourself. And the only way you do that is through experiences. You bought donkeys on Craigslist. So Separately on Craigslist. What did the um the 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 salesperson say? What was the article like? They were not a salesperson. It was a, just a ran, you know, it was like, "Hey, donkey for sale." <laughs> I think I think it was $120. <laughs>